Hey guys, how are you today? So this is just a quick little video inspired by the fact that we have the holidays coming up and Shannon Green's little video where she made her little note cards out of um, just leftover bits and pieces that she had, um, ATC cards and things like that. She, she gave me the idea and I re realized I had a bunch of stuff I could do something similar with, with the holidays coming up and uh, having my own Etsy shop, which I always try to include a little postcard, a thank you note, or something in with. It's always good, I agree with Shannon, to have a bunch of these laying around. So, knowing that and keeping that in mind, the first thing I did was I took some hot pressed watercolor paper. Um, I have a couple of these hot pressed watercolor paper blocks, uh, fluid watercolor paper. The hot press is really, really smooth paper. Um, there's no texture to the surface at all or barely one. I'm not actually a big fan of this paper for watercoloring on. I like the little bit of the texture, so I prefer cold press, but I have this so I thought I would use it up. You could definitely just use ordinary plain card stock for this. That would work just fine. I happen to have the hot press paper, so I use that. I stamped some of my own um, images um, from my own stamp set onto the hot press paper using uh, water soluble, I mean waterproof ink. Uh, I think I used um, archival ink on this, but you could use stays on. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have my own set of rubber stamps. They are available in my Etsy shop. The link for that shop is in the description below. I have two sets. I have this one and I have this one. You can get them like these unmounted. They're $25 each, which is the most economical way to get the designs. And then you just need a sheet of easy mount um, to hook, to attach them to, to stick them to, and then you cut the designs out. And the easy mount then turns it into a cling stamp to cling to an acrylic block. Um, I do have them available individually um, on wood mounts and on cling and some of those are listed in the Etsy shop. They're also available, um, some of them as digital stamps in my Etsy shop. So lots of different ways to get the stamps. I do recommend that if you don't have a laser printer, which, which most of us don't, that you actually do this with the actual stamp and you stamp it onto the cardstock or hot press watercolor paper uh, with a waterproof ink um, it, rather than uh, do a digital stamp only because of the way I colored these in. So I stamped them with a waterproof ink and then I colored them in with watercolor paints. Now if you're gonna get the digital stamp and you're gonna print it onto cardstock, uh, then I would recommend coloring it in with maybe color pencils or something because the um, inkjet uh, ink will run with watercolor, it's gonna smear. So anyway, there's lots of different ways to do it. So you have to pick out what works best for you, makes you happiest, and is in your budget. So anyway, I did a whole sheet of these, and then I cut, I fussy cut them out. I got a couple of feathers, I had a couple of flowers, I've got a few of the circles. Then I have a bunch of this, this is just craft card stock, I actually have it in black too, which I've never opened. Um, this is um, a card stock pack. This is uh, from the Paper Studio. I got these at Walmart. They were $5, and um, you can get, I think they have packs that have a variety color in them. I have black and craft, so I'm gonna use what I have. They are four and a half by six and a half. So the first thing I did was I took my scoreboard, and I wanted to score it it's it's six and a half, so I want to score it at three and a quarter. And then fold it in half. Use my bone folder to make sure that crease is good. So I've got a few of those, so that'll work. Then I want to, you could just put this on here and that would be fine if that's the look, maybe that's the look that you want. I wanted to really layer some papers. I've got lots of, you know, bits and pieces of painted papers that um, I've done and that some of that you all have sent me. This actually might be a piece from Patty Tolly Parish, um, looking at it. It might be one of hers that she sent me. 
Um, so anyway, so the next thing I did was cut a piece of painty paper and the pieces are about two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm going to pick another piece of painty paper. These are some that, um, that might be from Happy Mail, but I know like this is one that I did. Move all my little bits and pieces out of the way. This is on an old Uno um, game card. Score pad paper. You know what I mean, right? So I'm going to cut it at two and three quarters. I want to cut the Uno off. Three and three quarters. I'm going to, you know, save the little scrap because I'll use it for something. I'm going to layer it on the front of the little card. I'm going to decide which one of these I want on here. I think I want this flower on here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I want a feather. No, I like the feather on there. And then I picked out some words from my word box that I thought I could put on here. So let's let's get the card assembled. I'll show you how I made one. I think this is a really great idea. You could make a whole bunch of these. And of course, if you're going to use them for the holidays, you could holiday theme your papers and your words. But you could also just have a bunch of them laying around for when you need to send out a, you know, thank you note or, you know, something like that. You just have them. Or am I the only one that still sends thank you notes? <laughs> I just kind of eyeball it and straighten it. I'll link Shannon's video in this description below. I stuck a piece of tape to myself. You know, nothing's going, it's Monday. Nothing's going smoothly. Because why would that happen? Okay, then I'm just using Tape Runner. You know, Scrapbooker's Tape Runner. Again, this is from Hobby Lobby. This is called Ad Tech Crafters Tape Permanent. It's inexpensive. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it didn't cost much. I'm going to lay my feather on the card over the painted paper. I'm going to pick a word, one of my words here. I like this one, imagine. I'm going to trim it a little better than I've trimmed it here, maybe. I'm not always super careful when I trim these words out. These words are just from magazines and junk mail and things. I collect them from all over the place. That'll work. Then I'm going to use the same tape runner on the back of the word. And layer it over the image. And now you have a just cute, simple, quick little note card, and you can just have a bunch of them in a box on your desk. And then when you want to send a little card to somebody, you can just grab one of these and write a little note inside. Isn't that cute? And if you have an envelope punch board, you can make little matching envelopes for them if you don't have any or can't find them. So I think it's a cute, really great idea. You could of course use them as gift tags. They would be really cute attached to the top of a gift, a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, um, anything like that. So um, yeah, think about doing some of that. And if you want to get these stamps, uh, they're in my Etsy shop. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all of my contact information is in the description below, along with my P.O. box and all of that stuff. The link to my Etsy store where you can get the stamps. And uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, you leave a comment on the video and give it a thumbs up and I will answer your comments and questions. And uh, if you want to ask me anything off of YouTube, you have my email address below. You can send me happy mail, a product to try and review, any of that stuff. All right, don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody. Make a few little note cards and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.